raised. Away they go. And the handle and concrete Irish EBF Glen Carrig Lady Frances Flood Mare's Grade 2 Chase. Six runners and setting off to make it on the run to the first of 15 fences is Onstey, followed by Impervious. And then last year's runner up, Ellie made the grey on the outside of Allegori de Vassi, and then Riviere de Tell and Echoes of Family. Nicely spaced out coming to the second fence on the approach to the straight at Onstey, the leader from Impervious, Allegori de Vassi, Ellie May next. Big jump by Allegori de Vassi in third, then Riviere de Tell, already chased along. Echoes of Family in rear of the six-runner field as they approach fences three and four in the home straight. The racing in single file, Onstey followed by Impervious, and Allegori de Vassi, Ellie May, Riviere de Tell, Echoes of Family. On to fence number four and the last one next time. And the six runner Handlin Concrete Irish EBF Glen Carrig Lady Frances Flood Mare's Grade 2 Chase over two miles, five furlongs. Fence number four on the last one next time and popping it a good four to five lengths in front on Steve and Danny Mullins. In second place is Impervious, conqueror of Allegori de Vassi and the Mares of Cheltenham. In third place is that mare, the Mount of Paul Townend. And then Riviere de Tell, Keith Donahue. Ellie May, Simon Torrance deputizing for Mark Walsh, and the third grey at the back of the field is Echoes of Family and JJ Slevin. Our pill to fence number five. Onsti not so far in front of Impervious, Allegori de Vassi in third, then Riviere de Tell, Ellie May and Echoes of Family. Turning to the fence at the top of the hill, which is number six. Onsti in the lead from Impervious, a gap to Allegori de Vassi. Then the three greys, Riviere de Tell, the red cap, and the blinkers, Eddie May, and last of all is Echoes of Family in the yellow color jacket as they go downhill towards halfway. Another nine fences left to jump. And bowling along out in front is Onsti, from Impervious the favorite, third is Allegori de Vassi, then Riviere de Tell, Eddie May, is now near to the back, is one behind, and that's Echoes of Family going to their first ditch. First of two, which come up close together at the bottom of the track. It's Onsti safely over from Impervious, Allegori de Vassi, Riviere de Tell, Ali May, and Echoes of Family. On to the next. This is eight from the finish. As they reach the halfway stage. Onsti up and over by four lengths to Impervious. Riviere de Tell joins Allegori de Vassi for the third, and then Ali May and Echoes of Family. Down the far side they go with seven fences left to jump. And it's Onsti, yet to be headed. Maintains a good four length advantage over Impervious. And then Allegori de Vassi disputing third with Riviere de Tell, who's followed by Ellie May and Echoes of Family. First of three down the far side, with just over a mile to go. Onsti in front from Impervious, who's chased from the drop of the flag. And then Allegori de Vassi, Riviere de Tell, Ellie May and Echoes of Family. Six to jump. Middle fence down the far side coming up, and it's Onsti. Followed by Impervious, Allegori de Vassi, and down at the back, Echoes of Family. Both horse and rider are quickly on their feet as they jump the fifth last fence in the last ditch. Onsti, not so far in front of Impervious, who's now within a couple of lengths, then Allegori de Vassi, Riviere de Tell, pushed and shoved along on the inside of Ellie May. Five mares left in it as they return to their point of departure. Four fences left to jump. And the handle and concrete are she be F. Glen Caddick Lady. Francis Flood mares grade two chase. Off the back they race. Four to jump. Onsti by two and a half to Impervious. In third is Allegori de Vassi and then Ellie May. And struggling to lie up with them as Riviere de Tell. Four to jump. Half a mile to run. Onsti. Stoked by Impervious. Over in third, Allegori de Vassi, then Ellie May and Riviere de Tell, they head for the third last. Onsti and Danny Mullins, followed two lengths back by Impervious and Brian Hayes. Very much with them in third is Allegori de Vassi and Paul Townen, and then Ellie May and Simon Torrens. Onsti got the top wrong there, and Impervious looms on the outside. 
three legs back to Allegory de Vassi, who's chasing them in third, and then Ellie May. As they round the home turn, Impervious joins issue with the long-time leader, Onsti. Allegory de Vassi now ridden along in third, followed by Ellie May, and with two left to jump, it is Impervious who hits the front from Onsti and Allegory de Vassi, and they're followed by Ellie May, and in between the final two fences, it is Impervious kicking away from Onsti, Allegory de Vassi, and then Ellie May, and coming to the final fence, it's Impervious and Brian Hayes into the last, and safely over with a widening advantage of eight to 10 lengths, as Impervious stretches her unbeaten run to five over fences, winning impressively the handle and concrete Irish EBF, Lincadic Lady Frances Ludmere's grade two chase for Brian Hayes, Colin Murphy, and JP McManus. What a season they've enjoyed with this mare. Second on Steve Allegory de Vassi in third. Ellie May, the only other one to finish, as Riviere de Tell was pulled up in the straight. Brian Hayes, she deserves to do something bigger and better because uh, her profile only gets more and more illustrious. How did that feel today? Yeah, she felt brilliant. She felt amazing. She was jumping from fence to fence, travelling everywhere. And, uh, you know, she always finds she always finds loads at, at the end of a race, which I just love, you know. Not a moment's bother. Has she ever gone through a race quite as smoothly as that? No, that was the smoothest she's ever gone through a race. Because in, in Cheltenham, she was actually a little bit, little bit in my hands. She had a horse either side of her. She was a little bit you know, a little bit in my hands ever, but today she was just, it was like a piece of work, really. Do you think the occasion at Cheltenham maybe got to her a little bit or not? Um, no, it was just the way the race panned out. Mm. We we jumped off and we didn't go much of a gallop and we kept steadying her up and uh, she just kept winging fences in and getting back into my hands and lighting up at me. So that just didn't help, you know. She is just a, a natural enthusiast, it seems. Yeah, as well. yeah she, 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 you know, she'd die for you. Like, she'd, she'd, she'd do anything, she'd try so hard and... Uh, it's, uh, it's she just she makes the job very simple. Has there ever been a horse that's given you this much pleasure to ride? I can just tell from the way you're talking about how much you enjoy it. Yeah, no, not not quite, no, because she never, she always just seems to be propping herself up beautifully for a fence, and there's not much there's not much riding in her really. She's just very very simple. Just bring her down to a fence, and she'll do the right thing every time. It's uh, she's she's a, a jockey's dream, you could say. And do you think we're anywhere near the bottom of her yet? No, I don't think so. No, I don't think so. No, hopefully, hopefully she'll improve. Again, next year. That's what I'm hoping, anyway. Excellent stuff. Well done, Brian. Thanks. 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 Cole Murphy has just seen Impervious stretch her winning streak to five and do so in imperious fashion. Uh, Cole, you clearly came here as the mayor to beat, but that was a, a wonderful performance. Do you think she's moved forward again from Cheltenham? Absolutely. Seems to be. You know, we're, we're probably we're very guarded ourselves coming today. You know, you just, you're just a failure of life. What Mark Cheltenham leaves on him, you know, you spend a... He spent the whole year getting them ready for one day, and and, and then you expect him to come here and do it all again, you know. So, um, no, I was, I was I was taken today. Now she impressed me today. And do you think that's maybe told us that she had a tiny bit more up her sleeve at Cheltenham than perhaps it looked? Yes, it, it seems to be. You know, it's like we're only scratching the surface a little bit. Whether you know, she today is the first day now she wowed me. You know, yeah. She really did wow wow everyone. I think I, I, she's always been good. But she's been a real revelation since since jumping fences. Is it just the bigger obstacles, or is there more to it than that? No, I'd say we we've got a fantastic run. You know, there's a massive massive team at home to keep this lady right. She's she had loads of little issues last year. You know, with with, with muscles and growing pains and one thing and another. You know, so it's um, no, it's a it's a big team at home that keeps her on piece. Yeah. So have you always known that there's something like that there? It was just a question of unlocking it. Yeah, we we hoped. You know, it's a. a, a it's great when they have ability, you know, but it's uh, it's another thing trying to keep the keep the wheels on, you know. And for you, Colm, as well, in this next phase of your your career, how important has a mare like her been to you? Oh, massive, absolutely ma massive. You know, it's it's like you know you I don't get interviewed by yourself, you know, if it's an 80 to 95 handicap, you know, so so it, it, it's massive, and you and you need a, a big a, a big shop window like her, you know, so yeah. And compared to your, you know, your first incarnation as a trainer, where you had lo a lot of good horses, even with a, with a small team, and everyone knew you were a really good trainer, it's a lot harder now to to make the breakthroughs in these big races. Does that make it a bit sweeter? Absolutely, you know. And it's, I think, yeah, you, you appreciate the likes of these. You know, we'd we plenty of good ones before. We we probably hadn't the same appreciation for them. We 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 thought you get one every year, you know. But you know, they're they're like hen's teeth now. Yeah, they're they're hard to come by. I know you like to win, and she could win against her own sex as often as you wanted a runner. 
given that she's just done that now, you're going to get a big allowance against Geldings in graded company. Are you tempted to have a crack at them next year? Yeah, I suppose it is, it is, and we'll have to have a chat with Mr. McManus and, and Frank, you know, and I'm, I'm sure they have a plan mapped out for her, you know, and, and, and uh, we're, we're more than happy to go along with that, yeah. Well done. Thanks a million. Thanks for that. Subscribe to Racing TV's YouTube channel now to watch more great races like this.